What's up gamers, my name is GM Dre and welcome back to another Unreal tutorial. So this time we're going to be looking at making the sky static day or night or dusk or dawn. I've seen some tutorials on how to make day and night cycles, but none on how to make it stay like nighttime or uh, dusk or dawn or whatever, because it's always daytime already. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it stay night. And all we have to do to do that is adjust some of the the uh, script that's already written from other tutorials. So open the level blueprint, and we're gonna. Oh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna. Okay, okay. Open the level blueprint and add a reference to your skybox. And we're gonna come over here in directional sunlight. We're gonna rename this sun, just for simplicity purpose. And we're gonna add a reference to sun. All right quickly come over here and make a variable uh, and the other tutorials it was sun speed because it was day and night but I guess well, it doesn't matter you can name it sun speed uh, and we're gonna change that to a float and pull that out and uh, get compile and we want to this is the this this variable will determine what time of day it is so we'll leave that blank for just now okay so we're gonna come over here with the Sun and we're gonna say Set actor rotation. Uh, yes, set actor rotation. Uh, and we're going to do an event begin play. Now, what I like to do with my event begin play is pull them off to the side away from every other code and comment them with, you know, event begin play. Because when you start getting like super complicated codes, you want to make sure you know where this is because you can only put one in your level blueprint. So, just. I like to do that and then I sequence them off now that doesn't matter here but just a pro tip so we're gonna pull that off sequence is just so you can you can you know throw it off to as many as you want uh, control <laughs> oh well they're there now okay and for the rotation we're gonna do make rote make rote and this is where this comes in so we're gonna take this and we're gonna do float times float right there and we're gonna draw that into the pitch and then we're gonna come out here and we're gonna drag from the sphere and we're gonna say update sun direction that's why we named it sun not really <laughs> uh, boom and now this number and this number is all we need to change so we're gonna drag this out of the way here and we're gonna hit simulate and not changing any numbers where it's already dusk leaving everything at zero it changes it to dusk so if we're going to bring this back over, let me stop here, I'm going to bring this back over and we're going to change this to 5, uh, recompile, pull this out of the way, hit simulate again, and there we go, it's dusk. Now, uh, over here we're going to change sun speed, sun speed now, this is the number, This leave this at 5, leave these at 0, this is the number you want to change depending on what time of day you want to set it to. So let's say we want to set it to nighttime. I change that number to 12. Now this is something I played around with. You have to play with it yourself to find out the numbers. And boom, it's nighttime. If you want it darker, uh, I'm not gonna pull it back over because this is back and forth. You want it darker? You change the number. I change it to 15. Uh, simulate again. Now it's even darker, and it's gonna stay that way. Now when you're editing, it'll be daytime, but as soon as you hit play, it's night. And in this way, yeah, I'm. I'm this is a weird template. And in this way you can have it stay nighttime or stay daytime uh, depending on the kind of story you're telling or, or game you're making so the game I'm working on I want it to stay nighttime of course if you want it to be daytime then you you know don't mess with it at all but if you want it to be nighttime or dusk or dawn then this is what you do event begin play sequence it off to a set actor rotation for the sun make make rotation for the new rotation take a variable you made sun speed change the sun speed variable multiply it by five that is the pitch and out that to the updates on direction for the sky sphere that's it so here if you want to have a look at the code this is the code again let me pull this over screenshot this if you need to uh, I'll let this sit here for just a second um, thanks for watching I hope you learned something there you go so you can see what the variable is and change that bye
Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, leave a like. If you hated it, leave a dislike. And if you want to check out more, hit the subscribe button and come check out my channel. See ya!